Hey, how's it going? This is Drawn Smiles, so let's go and have some fun. Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Drawn Smiles, and welcome back to Agatha Knife. So let's go and have some fun. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna get him drunk off of the pig's blood. Hey, what is happening now? Have you found your pig god yet? Hmm. Yes, and he gave me a bottle of a special carnivorous liquor to toast you and celebrate your birthday. He said you should try it and hopes you like it. Are you trying to poison me? No. Ah, and he said that if you drink it, he'll come and speak to you. Yes, of course. That is how I met him. Just after I took a swig of that cocktail, the great bleeding pig appeared. And he told me all about carnivorism. Doesn't that mean you pretty much met him when you were drunk? Is that what you're trying to tell this pig? <laughs> and you're trying to tell him if he becomes drunk, he'll see him too. Whatever you say. Anyway, pass me that liquor. I want to see what it tastes like. Here you go. Take a swig of that. That's not normal liquor, I tell you what. It's got some pig blood in it. Isn't that mean you're kind of a carnival? Makes sense. Carnivorism. I'm just kidding. This liquor is pretty good. Tastes great, right? Yeah. But I took a big swig. I don't want to drink anymore. I know what I'm like. Here, take your bottle. There you go. Thank you. And... Oh, she's trying to do the Sandro thing. Yeah, do it. Kind of looks like you're dancing. I'm just kidding. What are you doing? Connect you with your... What was it called? Ah, oh, yeah. Your dormant imaginarium. My what? The dormant imaginarium. Is everything black? No, I'm seeing double and your head is about twice the size it was before. Oi, are you sure you haven't drugged me? No. Hmm. And what about the fat bloody pig where's your god? I thought you said he'd come if I drunk some of that booze. Yes, but I don't know. Bah, I knew it was all a load of rubbish. Anyway, thanks for the drink, but I'm staying here. Bye. Ah, oh, I thought it was going to work. It is. You gotta trick him. It is like a big wooden wheel. Hang on a second. There you go. You thinking about it? Hmm. Is it me, or does the staple look like a pig's head? Yes, it does. It is like the face of a giant pig with ears and everything. You can do something with this, huh? You can trick him. Especially now that he's drunk. Hello, little pig. You are so annoying. I'll insist that he be the motto. I'll tell him that the barn is the head of the great bleeding pig. The god of carnivorism has come here to speak to you. What are you talking about? Look, he is over there. Great bleeding pig, this is the little pig I was telling you about. Little pig, this is the great bleeding pig, the god of carnivorism. I told you he was real. The barn looks a lot like a pig's face now. Maybe the effect of the awesome cocktail will help. When I tried the cocktail, I met the great bleeding pig. Although Sandro used slamming show tenation for that. I don't know. I hope this works. Because I can't think of anything else. Looking at it. He's thinking about it. Oh, it's working. Uh, hello? Da da da. Yes, yes. It is me. A year? Yes. Thing. Thank you so much, big blood. Oh, sorry. Great bleeding pig. God of carnivorism. Cool. It seems to be working. Yes, yeah, sorry. I thought it was all a really big lie. I thought humans only wanted animals so they could eat them. But if you say this girl can be trusted... Yes, yeah, sorry. Agatha, sorry. Agatha Knife. Prophetess of carnivorism, of course. It won't happen again. Can I ask you something, great bleeding pig? Is it true that by following carnivorism, us animals can be happy forever? Oh? Seriously? 
Then first, we have to be turned into meat, like she says. That is right. Of course, now I believe completely in you and in Nagata. Of course, I want to join and be able to achieve eternal and absolute happiness. That would be amazing. The prophetess asked me before and now I think I'm ready. I'll go to the sanctuary and tell all my friends that what the prophetess told us is true. Yes, yes. Don't worry, great green pig. I won't ever doubt again. I will give my flesh and I'll do whatever is asked of me. For eternal life and for Agatha. Piggy. It is me that should give thanks for the opportunity to be the martyr of carnivorism. Goodbye. I'm not really sure how, but he's smiling and he look how happy he is. We have a volunteer who wants to die for carnivorism. The little pig who didn't trust me now says he wants to give his life. He left so fast, I couldn't tell him how to get to the butchers. I hope he knows where to go. Well, you said there's only one in town, so yeah, he probably knows. Cool, it is done. We should go and tell Sandro. We are almost done. So we're probably about over, uh, about done with the game now, huh? Uh, uh, the lights are gone. Sandro, close the window. Sandro is caravan. The lights are gone. Well, he closed the window, so. Sandro? He left. Are you hiding again? There's like a uh, something right here. I want to. Oh, oh well. The Sacred Book of Carnivorism. There is a note on top. It says. Congratulations, Agatha. You've completed the religion creation course. During your quest, you have assembled all the necessary elements to create your own religion, carnivorism. Only the most important part remains, but you have to face that on your own. You must now make use of all the elements so that carnivorism becomes a reality. And your animals give themselves freely to your knives without fear, just as you wished. To achieve that, you must now carry out the demonstration that we talked about on a number of occasions. I bookmarked the sacred book where it explains the carnivorous ritual. All the steps you must take to make the ritual a success are outlined there. I've rewritten it so that you can understand what you wrote without any problems. I've also left you a lectern and on the table are some candles and a lighter. Take it all. You will need it for the ritual. From here on, I won't be able to help you any farther. But I'm sure you'll be just fine without me. I don't know if we'll meet again, but I wanted to tell you that you've been a great student and I've really enjoyed working with you. Aw, oh, she's got a sad face. I'm sorry I wasn't able to say goodbye in person. But I had to solve a problem I was having with a workmate, and had to leave in a hurry. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the course as much as I did, and you'll see how everything starts to go well from here, and you'll be very happy. Well, that is it. Take care, blessings, good night, and farewell. Signed, Sandro, the awesome master of divinations. Ah, Sandro was cool. I'm going to miss him. You are an awesome magician, and I'm sure you can hear me, so I want to tell you that I had a great time creating carnivorism with you, too. It was really cool. If you come to the butchers one day, we'll give you a good discount. I'll take the things you've left me and go to the sanctuary now. I'm sure all the animals will have arrived from the farm and will be waiting for me. Let us hope the ritual goes well. Well, that is all. Take care and thanks for your help, Sandro. Signed, Agatha, the Prophetess of Carnivorism. Aw, oh, he was listening. I knew you were listening to me. Sandro left me some candles and a lighter for the ritual. 
a lighter and three candles. Take that. I'll take the book and the lectern first. That and that. And this. Will this teleport me all the, uh, back home? Nope. Alright, I gotta walk. <laughs> Oh, that was his, that was her buddy. One of her buddies. They'll probably meet again. Hello, Mr. Colorful Robot. Hello, what can I do for you? Doesn't look like he minds that the burger is made from dog meat. Don't you feel bad that little dogs were killed to make that burger? Well, I guess a little bit. But if the burger tastes good, then it doesn't matter. That is what animals exist for, so that humans can eat them if we want to. Besides, we need to take advantage of the fact that we are the dominant species. It won't be long until the robots rebel and eat us. I've got things to do. Hey, I'm going. Cool. Good luck, and it is morphin' time. Oh, we're back. And what's going on here? Why are the lights off? Mom, what are you doing on the floor? Oh, don't be so upset. Calm down. Mom. Oh, child. Thank God you've arrived. Why have you turned off the lights? I didn't turn them off. The electricity company has cut us off for not paying the bills. Oh, okay. And why are you sat on the floor? Because a moment ago, a pig came running through the door, shouting, and it scared me half to death. I thought he was going to eat me or attack me, but he kept on running and joined the other animals in the back room that arrived earlier. So they are all in the sanctuary? No, no. In the back room, the avatar. What sanctuary are you talking about? Never mind. Are you sure? I don't understand. I don't know what you've done, Agatha, but I'm scared. Don't worry. I will go and speak to them now. By tomorrow, all those animals will be made into burgers if all goes well. Well, do what you need to do, but be careful of that crazy pig. He'll take a chunk out of you if he bites you. I think the martyr pig gave her a shock. When the ritual is over, I'll uh, talk to her about Sandro and explain all about carnivorism. Are you sure about that? She is really nervous. We'd better go to the sanctuary and do the ritual. Well, this is probably the end of the game, so I'm gonna say uh, I wouldn't mind like a movie or a show about this. It's, this was a pretty decent game. There they are. And look how happy he is. Look, he's arrived. There weren't this many of you at the farm, were there? We had some spare tickets, so we gave them to some friends from another farm. That is not a problem, is it? No, no, it is cool. Okay, but where's the pig god? Yeah, didn't you say that the big bleeding pig would be here? Don't pester the prophetess, please. What is going on with you in that gear? She is called Agatha Knight, Prospector, or the rage of the pig god will rain down upon you. I don't get it, man. Before we left the farm, you said you weren't going to come because you didn't trust her. That she was a liar. That this carnivorism was a trap. So she could kill us. And now you are saying that we should do everything that she tells us to. Because the big pleading pig said so. He is called the Great Bleeding Pig. And if you don't stop with your blasphemy, there will be no place for you inside him. Isn't that right, Prophetess? I don't know. We'll take a look in the sacred book later. But first, we are going to do something so that you are not afraid to be turned into delicious meat. Are you going to do the demonstration you told us about? Yes. Ah, so excited right now. Hmm. Come on, let's get on with it. I want to meet the god of carnivorism. Alright, there we go.
And that. Alright. I think we can get started. Alright, let me just read this before we uh, start. The candle Sandro left me for the ritual. This candle smell of stinky feet. They are probably from that man with the cheese religion. An awesome lighter. A lighter for the carnivorous ritual. Ah, oh, the music changed. Here we go. The prophetess of carnivorism will be dressed in red. And a solemn welcome all future followers will receive from her. I guess I need to put the habit on. Lord. Is it going to start now or what? Hang on a second. Putting it on. Here we go. Here we go. It looks cool, right? It looks great, Miss Prophetess. You're in... You're in butt kisser. Shut up, heretic. He's so excited to be cut open. Alright, back to the book. The Prophetess of Carnivorism will be dressed in red. And a solemn welcome all future followers will receive from her. Alright, so we gotta just... Talk to them? According to the sacred book, I need to welcome them to start the ritual. Loads of animals have come to the sanctuary. Let us see if I can convince them all to stay here and play with me. And not be scared that I'm going to turn them into meat. Alright. Hmm. Here we go. What is he doing? Animal friends, thank you all for coming to the sanctuary. I, Agatha Knife, the prophetess of carnivorism. I'm going to teach you all about how this dying and being happy after thing works. We are going to do a ritual together, okay? Oh yes, the ritual. That is what the great bleeding pig said he needed me for. So you were serious when you said you'd seen the great bleeding pig? Of course. He came to the farm after you had all left, and he wished me a happy birthday. Ah, and he shared with me a delicious carnivorous cocktail. No way. I'm telling the truth. You have to believe me. But above all, you have to believe Agatha, the prophetess. Because everything she said was true. The great bleeding pig told me. But I'm scared of being killed and eaten, aren't you? I understand how you feel. You fear the day that a truck takes you to an any old butcher's. Where they carve you up without showing any compassion. And everything turns to black. Where you can't see, where you can't hear, where you can no longer feel. Look at the eyes of some of them, like the sheep and the chicken on top. Give it a rest, man. You'll be dead forever. You are creeping me out. But, brothers and sisters, it doesn't need to be that way. Agatha and the Great Bleeding Pig want to give us a beautiful carnivorous death, so that we can attain a happiness that is both eternal and absolute. That is right. Well, if you are so sure that what Agatha says is true, why don't you let her kill you? That is right, didn't you say you weren't scared? I will willingly die to show you the way to eternal happiness when the prophetess so desires it. All in good time. Excellent. All right, on to the next part. With awesome nectar at his feet, his radiant body he will take. The great bleeding pig has decided to speak. Alright, so... Blood on his feet. Alright, little this. There you go. Yeah. How much blood in cocktail is in that thing? Because he's been drinking it, he drank some, she put it on the floor. There is no blood left in the bottle. Oh, there we go. Uh, I've drawn a circle in blood below the martyr. I think that is what it said in the sacred book. Alright. On to the next part. With awesome nectar at his feet, his radiant body he would take. The great bleeding pig has decided to speak. Oh, radiant body, the candles. There we go. And then we light him up. There we go. Nectar at his feet. Radiant body. 
And now... Do we cut him up? Do you want to kill him now? Can we wait and see what the sacred book has to say? Alright, alright. There we go. With, oh, it's the same thing. If I've understood properly what it says in the sacred book, I had to pour Sandroya's cocktail on the ground beneath the martyr and surround him with candles so that he is illuminated. I like how it has turned out. Yeah, it's turning out pretty well. Now we, uh, we talk to the piggy? I'm going to ask the great bleeding pig to come to the sanctuary. Seriously? Yes, but I think he needs to use your body. That would be an honor for me, Agatha. Cool. I'll call him now. Here we go. I'm ready. He's so excited. Great bleeding pig, god of carnivorism. Don't know if you can hear me, but... Hmm. Well, I've marked the martyr with blood and some candles. The animals can't wait to meet you. You can come and join the ritual when you please. About time. Is he really going to come? Shut up. You're making me nervous. Oh, his eyes changed. He's standing up on two feet. And there we go. Blood. Look, he's even shocked a bit, maybe. Hey, is it really you? But Sandro told me you weren't, well, that you were a part of carnivorism, like the book and all that, but that you weren't. Yes, yes, you are the same as when I met you, although much smaller. But then... Yes? Mm-hmm, what language is this? Made up one? No, I'm just kidding. The made up piggy language? I'm just kidding. Okay, cool. I peed myself. Was that... You peed yourself on the floor? <laughs> You don't wear pants. You paint on the floor? I'm just kidding. Was that the voice of the great bleeding pig? I didn't understand a word of what he said. I hope he isn't angry. Look, these animals have some doubts about carnivorism. I've invited them all to the sanctuary so they can meet you and you can show them how they can be happy after dying to be made into meat. Yes, yes, I've explained to them lots of times what you told me. The thing is, there are some details I don't remember well, and... And I suppose they are important to help the animals not be scared. Just a minute ago, yes. You told them more or less the same as I did, and it made no difference, so... It would be cool if you'd help me convince them to have faith in carnivorism. Okay. I'm on it. Let us see. You saw how your friend was speaking weirdly and blood was coming out of his eyes, right? Yes. Well, that is because the great bleeding pig has entered his body. The god of carnivorism is here with you all now. He just told me that he is going to help with the ritual so that you can see carnivorism is real. Yes. He says that before going any farther, he wants to tell you something, but we don't understand the carnivorous language. Don't worry, I will translate. Here we go. Whenever you are ready, great bleeding pig. Listen carefully, unbelievers. Agatha is the only one that can give you eternal and absolute happiness through a carnivorous death. Like she did for me. What? Agatha killed the great bleeding pig? I don't remember that. He was the piggy, wasn't he? It was many years ago at the same farm that most of you have come from. At the Allen family farm? Yes. I was just a piglet, 
and it was nearly time for me to be taken away by the meat truck. I was fearful of that day, because I, like you, didn't want to die. But one day Agatha entered the barn, saw me, and smiling, took me softly into her arms. No one had ever showed me so much love as that little girl with blue hair showed me with that hug. Thanks to her, my fear disappeared. And although that hug was so intense that I suffocated and died, while my conscience started to fade into the abyss, I soon knew that to die in her arms was the best thing that could have happened to me. I'm happy here. <coughs> here? Sorry, great bleeding pig, but where is here? Where are you now? On her insides. Inside her? Yes, inside Agatha. Whoa. I can't feel a thing. <laughs> After choking me to death in this world with her hug, Agatha ate me whole. And in her stomach I discovered the purest happiness that I could ever have imagined. Forget your fear and trust in me. Give yourselves to carnivorism, and I'll share this happiness with all of you. Let Agatha show the way. You know the way. I'm just kidding. Sacred tears upon the new believers will fall. Alright, now we cut up the piggy. Was that true? I killed you with a hug and then ate you? No, I think my mum mentioned it recently, but I don't remember anything. Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. But are you really inside me? And are you happy? Cool. Well, I hope this doesn't hurt you too much. And don't let the martyr pig suffer, please. Okay. Thanks for helping me, great bleeding pig. Now, it is time to slice. She has got the knives out. At last, we are going to see it. Here we go. The skills, I tell you. Boom. Just like that. How'd he die? Oh, no, there we go. Is he dead? Looks like it. Yeah, he, it looks like he's... He's pretty dead. Alright, in a glass bottle, the bottle Sandro gave me. Get more blood. The great bleeding pig was in this pig, so that blood should do. It is full again. And now, spray it on all of them. Make it rain. Oh, yeah. Your friend, the pig martyr, was possessed by the great bleeding pig god of carnivorism before he died. I've got some of his blood here, and I'm going to sprinkle some on you, okay? And what is that for? Don't question Agatha. That is right. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend Miss Prophetess. Don't worry. The blood is part of the ritual. In the sacred book of carnivorism, it says that sacred tears must fall upon you. So it is as if the great bleeding pig was crying and his tears were falling on you. Is he crying because he is sad? What are you talking about? Didn't you hear what he's told us before? If the great bleeding pig cries, it is out of pure happiness. Ah, of course. I already understood that. Okay, here I go. Oh yeah. It's all over them. A little bit over here. It's all over them. And for you as well. Oh yeah. Blood all over the place. There's like a mess in this place. You better clean it up too. <laughs> Skin. Ready? I feel cool. Me too. It is as if. I don't know. It is cool. And the sacred blood smells great, right? 
Yes. All right. This should be about it. In the insides of the prophetess is where they all want to be. A path to eternal happiness will finally be unveiled. She's got to eat a dead pig that hasn't been cooked. Isn't that unsanitary? You might get sick. Your friend wasn't scared of me, and he gave his life and his body to carnivorism. Thanks to him, I can show you the path to the eternal happiness that only I can give you. Well, eat up. Don't let nothing go to waste. Ah. Uh. Oh, he's smiling. Look, the Mata pig is smiling. Yes, now he is happy. Of course, now he is with the great bleeding pig, thanks to Agatha. Now he'll be happy forever. I want the same Agatha. And me. Please take me too. Hey, me first. Ah, there's some occult stuff right here, I tell you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Is there more? Or is that it? No, this this should be more, right? Grand reopening. It has been a few days since we did the ritual. Oh, look at all the business. And life is good. We've renovated the store. The lights are back on and the phone has been reconnected. We paid Nika his aunt what we owed her. And the store is full of the best meat and customers. The new burgers have been so successful. The gear from the burger restaurant places a new order every day. Everything is awesome. Thanks to carnivorism. I've learned so many things on this course. And now I'm a master of faith and religion. I know what a god is and how to make one. I've got a sacred book that makes no sense. And I've set up a sanctuary in the butchers. My religion is so cool. Oh, and the most important thing of all. My animals aren't afraid of me anymore. The ritual work, they trust me now. They all want me to kill and eat them. Oh? It seems like the great bleeding pig wants new friends. So you're saying you're hungry. And look how happy and excited they are. Anyway, I'm going to spread some happiness. Because I am... Here it comes. Back, it's a knife. He did what Sandro did. Because he is Agatha Knife. The Carnivorism Prophetess. Or something like that. I'm just kidding. Alright, that was the game. That was Agatha Knife. That was another pretty decent game. That was the video for the day. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, like the video, and hit the notification button. Until next time, God bless.